What's up, fellas? Okay, this is so random, but... So I posted a TikTok video the other day that basically I was giving tips for high schoolers on how to run a faster mile. And I... One of the tips I had was doing lots of 200s. One of the things I credit being able to PR almost every year in high school, especially my senior year, is doing 200s. And I got a lot of questions asking like what the workout was that I would do, like how I would implement the 200s. So today I'm gonna to be explaining the workout that I did in high school. I did it probably every other week, which is probably unnecessary, but um, my senior year track season, to get me to go from a 451 1600 to a 447 full mile, which is like a 445 1600. So I dropped six seconds from my junior year to my senior year and I really, really credit it to implementing a lot more speed into my training. I had been a like a longer distance runner basically my entire life until my senior year. And then one of the things that I also credit it to is me growing eight inches and gaining 50 pounds by my senior year. But I think one of the main things was actually the training that I really changed my senior year. Before my training in high school was more like the standard distance runner training, which I was probably running 40 miles a week and I was doing a lot of like 800s, 1Ks, 1200s, like tempo-ish effort. I mean, it got me to like pretty good times, especially when I was younger in high school. Like when I was a sophomore, I ran a 1024, 3200. So I was definitely like strong in the 3200 events, but my mile in comparison just wasn't as good. Like I think my sophomore year I ran a 453. And then it only dropped to a 451 my junior year. So I knew I wanted to change something up my senior year. There was like nothing really riding on it. I was already going to college. So I was like, honestly, I'm just gonna switch up my training and see what happens. So I really, really started implementing speed into my training the winter of going into my senior year track season. We don't have indoors. So it was just a base training phase. And I was, I honestly, I dropped my mileage to about 20 a week which was drastic from what I've been doing my whole life. But I was like, honestly, I'm just gonna take the risk. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So mind you, I had years and years of base prior to this. I had been running like really seriously since middle school. So I've been doing like base training, like 800s tempo stuff for years until my senior year track season when I decided to do a little taper season, like why not? But that being said, I think you can do this anytime during your training, like whether or not you're doing a bunch of tempo stuff as well implementing 200s is really beneficial. So the workout that I did was eight 200s and you guys have seen it on my channel quite often actually because I really, really like the workout and I think it's beneficial still. But especially to start developing the fast switch muscles when you're younger, this is so key. If people just go out and run eight 200s, you won't think it's a hard workout, but this should be probably one of the hardest workouts that you'll ever do um, if you do it correctly. It's eight 200s with four minutes rest in between each interval. And you may be like, four minutes of rest like if you're a distance runner you will think that's crazy but the goal of this workout is to go as hard as you possibly can for these 200s meaning i am going off the line and i am sprinting as hard as i can for a 200. i would change into my flats for this workout for the first four and then for the next four i put on my spikes so this is what i would do i would try to get as close to 30 seconds as i possibly could usually this means the first couple I would be hitting 31s and I would be going to the well at the end of the rep. And then for the rest period, I would do one minute walk. It was literally like I could barely walk. Usually hands were on the knees for a little bit. One minute walk, which would equate to about 50 meters of walking. And then two minutes jog, which would take up about 100 meters. It would be like literally just like a walk jog. It was so slow. And then one minute walking in as you're walking 50 meters to get to the line. So it's like a 200 rest, but you're taking four minutes to get there. And you'd be like shaking out your legs um, in between the reps just to get your legs, like the lactic is just, your legs do be going lactic though in this workout. If, if they're not, you're not doing it right. And mind you, you need to warm up and cool down for this workout. I warmed up at least a mile for this workout because this is definitely, like if you're new to these type of workouts, it's definitely working different muscles. Like you 
100% will be sore from this workout because your legs are just going so lactic, I mean that not ironically, that you're probably just not used to it, so you need to warm up and cool down at least a mile, and just be careful. Like, you don't wanna hurt yourself from this workout. But yeah, so in the end, I would average like, I don't know, 30.5, and guys, I cannot, I cannot emphasize how much I think it helped me. Not only did I gain confidence in my kick, which I had never really had before, but I honestly just like, felt so much better going into the last 200 of the race. A lot of like postseason racing is very tactical. For example, like at Mount Sac Relays, there was a Brooks PR qualifier race and we went out so, so, so slow and there was a pack of like 15 people going into the last lap and only two made, made it to Brooks PR. Honestly, I felt so good because the pace was so slow and I knew I had a good kick from all of these 200s that I had been doing and I just went into that last 200 with so much confidence and I ended up closing in a third in 30 seconds and I had never done that before in my life Hill of Etiwanda but up front Dodger on the inside Rainsburger on the outside Abelson hanging right there in third. All the players right up front. Rainsburger put down that 208 feet. Abelson, Abelson taking the lead. Bring it home. Abelson will take home the prize. 200s are a lot different than say 100s because they require speed endurance it's not just you're not just all out sprinting like you have to have some sort of endurance to do the 200s so that's why i really think it's good for people to incorporate whether that be like just a workout of 200s or even after tempo runs like going and running four 200s not as fast as you can but just like really getting the turnover in yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit it's so random i know but i just felt like explaining because people were asking on tiktok not that i think a bunch of my tiktok followers are watching this video but just in case if you guys wanted to know why i think 200s is so beneficial that's why thank you guys for watching let me know if you want to see other kinds of this video, just like random spurts of ideas I have in my head that might be helpful to you guys. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.